we get a fair amount of stick about removing cats and recirculating valves and things. And by we, I mean we V Performance and also we, the modifying community, because we don't like things like this. This is a catalytic converter. So when you hear about people doing a decat or decat pipe, what they're doing is they're removing this. Now this is a nice one. This is off a very hot diesel and well, you can see it's fairly clean inside. So the metals in here are platinum and what else did they put in there? Oh, Rod rhodium? Uh, rhodium? Rhodium, all the expensive stuff. All the really expensive stuff. But they put it in there and little chemical reactions happen in between the little sections, which removes some of the noxious particles from your engine. Uh, but for race applications or sport applications, you need less restriction or no restriction. Uh, and so you take these out, cut out the pipe as we've done here, we've just cut this one right off the front and we've cut it off the back and we've replaced it with a section straight pipe um, which interestingly makes it sound like this It allows you to get more power out of the engine and get rid of heat faster which gives more life to your turbo and lets it spin easier and so on But inside this catalytic converter, tremendous restriction, this is why we don't like them and in fact, let's just hold up on the light and see if it's even possible to see through it. I can see the dot. Oh, wiggle it about. And... That is a block of restrictions. Now imagine if you get any sort of restriction in here because it gets clogged with carbon from the engine or any soot particles. This thing all of a sudden goes from restrictive to blocked entirely. And the only thing that's going to get that carbon out is considerable back pressure or heat flames etc to burn it out. As modifiers, as performance enthusiasts, we don't want that at all, or we want as little as we can get away with for your local governmental regulations. A man in a pair of thick glasses and sensible shoes will tell you that you need a catalytic inverter. Now here's what the carbon actually looks like, or what blocks it, but we don't have a jug full of carbon. So to simulate a blockage, we're going to use some sand. But look how fine that is. I'm just going to dump it in the top here. Damn, that's some fine sand. Oh man. Alright. There you go. It's now in the cat. And for our next trick, some, some of it's in the cat. Let's now do a, a repeat of our, our light experiment, if I can. So that's a catalytic converter. This one came off an Audi. It's not going back on. Thank you for watching everyone. Thank you for subscribing and for your continued support for our nonsense. Have a good day everyone. Goodbye.